Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers and we're in one of our test gardens and we wanted to talk about fall planting today. And there's actually three reasons why fall is a great time to plant. Number one, it's typically because your soil temperatures will stay warmer longer in the fall going into late fall and winter. So therefore, warm soil temperature means better root establishment on your plants. So don't be afraid to plant your favorites out there, your spring blooming bulbs, your perennials, your mums, your fall mums, your trees and shrubs, because believe me, their root system will fill out pretty quickly and get them established really quickly as well, okay? Number two is gonna be the cooling evening temperature. So as we get further and further into fall, you get those cooler evenings. And when air temperatures drop in the evening, but kind of pop back up during the day, because today's beautiful, it's a 70 degree day and we're in October. So needless to say, but we're gonna get down to like the lower 50s and 40s tonight that fluctuation is actually really good for your newly planted plants to rest and relax and recuperate over the evening. So then they can go back out and do their thing, continue to put energy towards the root system and develop. So we've got warm soil temperature, cool night temperatures, air temperatures, okay? The third thing that usually happens in fall that kind of makes this the magic trifecta for fall planting is we tend to get a good amount of rainfall. So we don't have to irrigate as often in uh, on our newly planted plants. So typically fall rains will really help us out. Again, we are always looking for one inch of water, a deep thorough watering that happens one time per week. Let's say you get a half inch of rainfall for that week. You just need to supplement the other half with irrigation and just water deeply. Make sure that water is really percolating through the soil and makes that root system of that plant move down into the soil. Um, this last part with the, the rainfall and the watering is that just make sure that you do have mulch around your plants and we'll show you with our plantings here uh, today, but it's nice to have that one to two inches of mulch around those newly planted plant materials. And then as winter rolls around and actually kind of later towards Thanksgiving, when we start to see the soil temperature really lower and get into the freezing um, times of the year. So end of November, beginning of December usually is when that starts to happen. That's actually when you apply any type of winter protective mulch, four to six inches around your newly planted plants, just to give them a little bit more protection and give those newly established roots a little bit more protection as well. So keep that in mind. Now, Planting time windows in the fall are a little bit different from for every type of plant material that you think about. So the first one that you wanna think about, and it's usually late summer, early fall, is getting your fall mums in the ground. So if you want your fall mums to come back for you dependably, get them established early and get them planted early, okay? Um, so that's the first thing that you wanna do. As soon as you see them at the garden center, come in, get your favorite colors, and go ahead and plant them in the ground so they establish. The other thing that you wanna focus on is if you like to start seeds, and we're talking especially like perennial seeds or biennial seeds, those types of plants will do very, very nicely in the early fall, getting established, rooting in, and then the next season, you'll see a big difference in how they leaf out and how they start to flower for you. So that's something else that you can try. We have the cone flowers down here. Cone flowers are really good representation of that. If you want to kind of, you know, make your cone flower patch bigger, go ahead and collect the seeds off of your cone flowers and then make sure that you sprinkle them around that patch like I said, early fall. So that's kind of the window for seeding and planting your fall mums. Second one, you wanna get done planting with perennials 
probably around mid-October, okay? Most perennials will need about four to six weeks to get their roots established. So perennials all through the summer season into fall, mid-October is really kind of that cutoff point because again, we want them to get established in that warm soil, okay? This is just a willow leaf perennial sunflower. We love it, it's great. It gives us a lot of fall color, excellent for this time of year. Trees and shrubs, we can actually wait much longer to plant and they will do very, very well getting planted all through the fall season. Even you can prepare the holes that you're going to put the trees and shrubs in ahead of time before you actually get your plant material. And that's fine too. As long as that hole is prepped and ready to go, you can actually plant trees and shrubs well until we get to those freezing temperatures, okay? So again, later November, early December, when we start to see that soil temperature drop a little bit more, that's really a big window that you can plant a lot of different plant material that will give you some fall color and some winter interest, uh, like this beautiful barberry here, okay? So think about those planting, um, you know, the three reasons why we do plant in fall. It's a great time to do it and think about the different plant materials that you want to install. And I forgot about the bulbs too. So you can plant bulbs anywhere from when the evening temperatures are between the 40 and 50 degree mark all the way until the soil freezes. So that's really probably one of the longer time windows as you install those bulbs so you get some nice spring color out there too. So something to think about. Taylor will show you just a quick planting that we did with the barberry, making sure that you're digging your hole twice the width of the pot that the plant comes in. So you're removing that soil, that existing soil around here. It's pretty darn clay. Go ahead and try to amend that soil, usually about 50% existing clay with 50% of organic matter. That could be your planting mixes, your composts, um, manures, anything like that, folks. Sweet peat, that's always a great product too, that you're mixing that, that soil mixture and you're actually backfilling with that into the hole. Before you backfill and before you put your plant in, of course, add some biotone. Biotone is gonna be a really good root stimulant, okay? So it's gonna get those roots established much quicker. It's a really good insurance policy to have. Just because we know the soil temperature is warm and the roots are establishing, Biotone will really help them out and just get them the nutrients and the moisture that they need, okay? So Biotone in the hole first. Go ahead and tip your plant out of the bucket or the pot. Go ahead and score the root system with a knife or a sharp shovel. And then go ahead and just plop it into your hole. You just want about an inch or so of that uh, top root ball to kind of be above the soil level so we know that water is draining down into the hole away from the root system. And then go ahead and backfill, tamp down, and then add again about one to two inches of mulch. You don't need any more at this time of year and water that plant in, okay? And you're ready to go. Watch for your water. Make sure you're getting an inch of water on newly planted plants per week and just enjoy your fall gardening.